Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Tonight we're going to take a look at Google Hangouts and show you what a great app it is to use to communicate with your friends uh, and to stay in touch with everybody. Let's take a look at it. Welcome to another Teachers Tech Tip here this week where I do weekly tech tips. So remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so Google Hangouts, uh, I'm going to first show you how to get to your Google Hangouts. I'm already at my uh, login page here. I've already logged into my account. Uh, and all you have to do is type hangouts.google.com in the URL and that will get you uh, to Google Hangouts. Uh, if you're logged in, you can also just go to your um, apps and then go down a little bit and you'll see there's the Hangouts here. And remember, if you uh, use it lots, you can drag it up to the top. Uh, and place it wherever you would like to. Um, I've also downloaded the extension in my uh, on my computer here, which I can get to it here. Uh, depending on, and then you can set it to what account you want. You can also put uh, the Google Hangouts as an app uh, that will open up too. So it can all do the same thing. That uh, depending on which way you want to use your Google Hangouts. Uh, another way is inside your Gmail. So I'm just going to quickly go over to one of my accounts here, and uh, what what you might need to do is actually turn on your Google uh, Google Hangouts first. So I'm just going to click on the picture here um, and you can see right now I don't have it turned on and so I'm just going to turn it on and it's just going to refresh my page and once it does that I actually have all the Google Hangouts right in my Gmail uh, too. So it will load up here and then you can see I have the phone calls and the Hangouts and the conversations uh, below too. A little later on I'll show you on my phone. Uh, I'm using an Android device but you can also use this on iOS. I really like this because uh, for instance my wife is on, uh, on her Apple products and I'm on my Android here and I use a Mac computer but she doesn't like it with iMessaging um, how she can iMessage me on my Android. The nice thing with Google Plus is she puts the app on. I have it on my computer. We can type back and forth from computer uh, to computer or from device or whatever device it is. So it's really smooth that way. Uh, doesn't matter if it's Apple, uh, doesn't matter if it's Android, it can all connect uh, to it. So I'm just going to go back to my Google Hangouts and show you a few things to get started with here. So I'm already logged into uh, my account as I mentioned before and I'm going to be sending message to messages to different accounts here and just kind of jumping back and forth so you can see what it looks like to send the message and invite a person. So I'm just going to get started with inviting a person. Uh, you can already see up here I already have one of my accounts already in that I've tested to and I sent a message to uh, but I'm going to actually go to my contacts up here and I'm just going to uh, you could do a search for the name uh, if I wanted to start typing in I'm going to use my James Keat name here to see if I pop up here. Um, but uh, a different James Keat does pop up that's not me but if I know the email of a person uh, that uh, I know I'm just I can type the email in so what I'm going to do is type the email in and then I get this email right here so I'm going to just uh, click on this and what's going to happen it says is not using hangouts yet do I want to send an invite and then I'll send the invite over like that and I just heard my phone just buzz because it just got the uh, invite but I'll show the phone in a little bit later here. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly change over to a, a different account here and what you're going to see is uh, invite here so you can see Jamie Key sent a message. So I'm going to click on this and it says let's chat on Hangouts. So I can ignore this or I can accept this. In my case I'm going to accept it and I'm just going to say, you know, I'll just say hello here and I'll hit enter. And what it's going to do is, so if I go back to the account I was uh, using before, you'll see that the conversation has started here. Uh, so the other uh, cool things, features with this here too, if you're, if you're sending messages inside uh, your, uh, inside you have all the emojis that you can send. So if I click on them, you can see all the different ones that you have there. I'm not going to spend uh, much time doing that, but uh, if you like using them, there, there are lots of them to use. Uh, the other thing you can uh, do too is uh, if you hover over down in the right hand side here, uh, there's a pencil that comes up and if I click on it, I can actually uh, draw an image. I'll just, again, I'll just say hi on this one. If I can draw this way, I'll just put hi. And then I can, you can see I can do a few other things here and take the pictures, but I'll let you play around to see if you like doing that type of stuff, but I can send it. And then that's going to go through to, I have to hit the paper airplane here to send it. And again, I could go back uh, to my other account here and I'll just show you what it looks like. 
and then you can see it's over here. Uh, so again, it would go through on all my other devices and everything too. Uh, you can also add a uh, add an image too. I could upload the images uh, from the albums from any photos, uh, web camera and such too. So, but I'm not going to go through that uh, easy enough uh, to use. Uh, the other thing you can do with your chat is invite uh, different people uh, to form a group. So I'm just going to go back um, over to my account here, the main one that I was on before. And uh, so I'm chatting with this, but I can add, I'm going to add this person over here, my other account. So if I just click on the plus here, um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to say create group and another window pops up. So now uh, you can see there's two other people in that group. So if I'm talking in there as this account and I'm just going to put hi, and I'm just going to jump uh, over a few different times as I can hear my uh, phone still ringing and a few of my other beeps and notifications on my computer. Uh, so I'm just going to go over, oops, I just picked the wrong one here. So just give me a second here. I picked the wrong account. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to go back to James Keat here. So you can see there's the hi here and I'm going to, I'm going to respond here and I'm going to go back uh, to this one right here. And you can see there's two different people coming through and I'll just send the third one here and then I'm going to go back to uh, my first one that I started with here, which you'll be able to see the group conversation that's happening inside and it shows uh, the different people that are involved in it too. So you can minimize it. You can also, I'm just going to show you a few other things. Uh, you can move it, you can maximize it if you wanted the, uh, the large screen, but I'm just going to put it back with the arrow here. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can start a video chat with it. So I'm only talking to myself right now, but very quickly to start the video chat uh, within the group that would start like so. Uh, then you can see the different people and see my phone's going off right now because it was being notified that um, I was getting an in incoming uh incoming video call that I would just have to answer to join. So it's very easy to start those uh, video uh, video calls up too. Uh, so that's just a little bit about the messaging. Uh, next, I'm just going to uh, move on and talk about the phone calls here. Making a phone call in Google Hangouts is a very, very simple thing to do. Uh, let me first by just closing down this window here. Uh, you can click, just click on phone call here or over on the side here. And at this point, you're just gonna, um, uh, you can make a call by, if you have your contact, you can type in the person's name or you could type in the phone number directly and make the call from there. You notice uh, there's a price limit here or how much things cost. Uh, inside Canada, the United States, it's always, uh, for me, it's been zero. Uh, but I believe there are some costs in some, if you look at different countries around the world, there would be some cost associated with the phone call, but in Canada, the US, it is free uh, to be phoning mobile or uh, to the landlines. Uh, the other thing that you can do in the United States, and I'm just, I have the window open to explain, you can actually receive calls too. We can't do that in Canada uh, yet, but so it says you can make and receive calls as well as get your text messages and voicemails uh, for your Google Voice number through Hangouts. To use Google Voice with your Hangouts account, you need to have a US Google Voice account and number. So I can't really show you how that works. I can just uh, show you, point to you out that it is available and you can take a look at it if you live in the United States. So again, yeah, very simple uh, to use it. Just uh, click on call and call away and it works uh, really, really well. For me, the, the clarity has always worked, uh, worked well on it. Maybe some other people I've heard um, that it uh, has been uh, not so good uh, depending on your connection speeds and everything too. Uh, so the next thing I want to show you is the video call here. Uh, so if I click on the video call, uh, what you'll notice uh, with, and I've shown you kind of how it works a little bit through the uh, chat session where you could start it. Uh, but what you can do if you're just starting a video call, if I just call this uh, Friday, since it's a Friday night, uh, then I go forward. And what's going to happen is it's going to start a video call here and I can invite people. So no one's going to be coming to this because I haven't invited anybody and I'm not uh, going to invite anybody. But uh, if I click on invite, I can just add the names um, of the people and then they'll get the message. And then they, if they want to join the video chat, they can. Uh, with the video chat, you can have nine other people. So yourself and plus nine other people inside of it. So you could have up to 10 people uh, chatting inside of this here. Uh, if you go across the top, you know, uh, you have the invite or the mute microphone or that you can turn your camera off if you want to and you can kind of play with the different options here. So I'm just going to go back. Um, I'm just going to go back um, out of this one here. I'm just going to close out of my X here. Uh, 
and I'm going to go uh, back to this one here. So I just want to show you a few things with the uh, down the menu items here, um, what you can do too. So we've kind of gone through all the invites, the phone calls, conversation contacts through here because there's many different ways you can get to them. Uh, if you do want to download uh, the devices, right here is the quick way to do it. So I've already installed all these. So uh, as you can see, it will bring you right to, um, uh, you know, right to the Google Play Store. And you can see it's I've already installed this one. So this is on my phone, uh, this app already. So if I go back and then I'm going to click on it again um, you can see there's the iOS that will bring you uh, to install it. if you want that installed on your iPhone uh, on your Chrome uh, on your Chrome there it is uh, so if I click on it uh, you can see that it's going to add uh, the app there and I already have my apps on there and lastly uh, the hangout dialer and I also have that on my uh, phone too so we do have hangouts on the air so if you do want to broadcast live uh, very simply uh, what you can do is create a hangout on the air just by hitting create uh, this account I don't have it set up uh, for Google Plus but you can just fill in that information there and then you could broadcast live and then if you kind of scroll down you get to see uh, some of the ones that are shared publicly and you have that choice of how you want to share it again uh, but these ones here that are uh, uh, that are, as I scroll down, are ones that uh, are from today that were being uh, broadcast live. So that's just uh, another feature inside Google uh, Hangout that you can do. So uh, again, you have your settings, your help and feedback. The help, uh, the help and feedback is a handy little feature. If there's anything uh, that you need to look up, just do the quick, uh, uh, quick look up. And that's what I've done when there's a few different features that I wasn't uh, sure about. I just type it in uh, right through there. So let's take a look at uh, some of the other things inside uh, my phone. So I'm just going to switch screens over and just show you the app um, how it looks and how it kind of works all together and it works very simply the same as the web browser So you can see at the top where there's notifications that came in above the go, uh, Google and beside the Tell Us. Uh, the things that I were sending before, being between accounts, were all picked up uh, here. So I like how easily notifications come across uh, on your mobile devices. But so whether it be uh, your phone or your iPads or your different uh, tablets that you might have. Uh, so to open up Google Hangouts, I'm just going to move over to the side and just show you how easily it is to change from accounts. So I'm in the one account uh, that I started off with, but it's very easy to pick a different account. Uh, you see the message that were sent in between. Uh, it has the graphics that were sent um, that um, that I sent that I drew before, and it has the conversations uh, here. So if I add a message here, so if I uh, type, uh, let's type just hi uh, down here, and what happens? You notice that it gets that instant message from because I have all my accounts set on this phone. Uh, then I get the message as that other notification how it pops op open. So I like how easily the no notifications come up, and then to start anything new. You get your video call, your group or conversa uh, conversation, just like you do uh, on the web browser. So I can quickly make a phone call just by hitting the dial pad and I can uh, dial away on it just like a regular phone here. Uh, so a quick app to use, very easy to uh, have on all your devices. Definitely take a look at it and connect them all. I don't think, uh, I don't think you'll regret having it on all your devices. I'm just going to end this tutorial tonight back in my Gmail to show you how the conversation comes up uh, inside the Google Hangouts here. So you can see over here on the left hand side I get notifications here also. Uh, so if you're inside your Gmail you won't miss your Google Hangouts and if I click on them it'll open up the little windows here. Uh, you can see this was the group one. It has the two different names in here and I can open up the multiple ones here too. So just another place you can keep track of your Google Hangouts uh, conversation here and start different calls and different things too. So I hope you like this tutorial here tonight and remember I do these weekly tech tips and if you're interested in these type of things please subscribe to my channel here. Uh, give it a thumbs up and share it away uh, if you think that if it's helped you out too. Uh, and if you have anything to say please drop a line uh, down below in the messages. Did I forget something? Something I could add on or make a different video. Thank you very much for uh, watching and I'll see you next week.